Hi guys um, and welcome to my LMMS tutorial where I'll show you how to use basically how to use this program and its features so uh, when you open LMMS this is the first thing you see right so basically here is where like all the synthesizers and instruments are like you know and if you click here there's the instrument plugins uh, your projects there are samples which are useful uh, there's also this I'm not sure what this is and yeah you mostly will just use the sample sample section and the the plugin section so since this program isn't like FL studio and doesn't really have any like synthesizers that you can like rely on you're gonna really just rely on sound fonts so luckily the program has a sound font player plugin if you're not sure what sound fonts you should get I made a Google Drive folder with uh, some a lot of cool sound fonts including the mother 3 and earth font sound fonts right so if if you want to load a sound font you gotta click on the on the sf2 player here and it's gonna open this this window with the little keyboard here right then you click on the little pink folder and you select the sound font you wanna use. So, for example, I'm gonna use the Earthbound Mother 3 sound font. Wait, hold on. Not sure if it's showing that little window here, but I hope it is. Uh, yeah, Mother 3. Oh, it is showing. Okay. So, basically, and when you load it it's gonna default to the first instrument like 15% uh, of the time it's like a piano but in this case since it's in like alphabetical order you see uh, it starts with a acoustic bass right so basically if you click at uh, the your keyboard uh, buttons like you can play the piano is it this go to Z from uh, from like dot and Q to P if you wanna play the black notes aka sharp notes or whatever you click it's from S to to um, L G I think and two to zero so yeah you can like mess around with right so if you want to change the instruments you click this real uh, this little uh, wrench here and it's gonna show a list of all the instruments so we got the banjo but but ban Bando neon, banjo, bass, finger bass. There's all, all, all the instruments here. There's also you can there's like these banks, which which ones have different, uh, more instruments. In, in this sound font, well, these just have like synth and synth bass, right? So basically, if you now if you wanna get like drum sounds, you gotta go to the 128 bank that it's like most likely that's gonna have the drum kit here it is so yeah that's how you basically choose it your instruments right so the next thing we're gonna want to see is how do you place down notes well to do that you're gonna click on the on one of these squares you see 
you gotta click and and in the instruments you are like like this you know this soundphone player because it could could have multiple so it's this one you know the one you want so basically here is the piano roll and if you wanna place down notes you it's already selected but it's the little pencil here and it's gonna create a little rectangle if you wanna ch uh, change its size you can just simply click on its uh, side and it's gonna extend or get general there's also if, if it's not small enough for you there's also like this this you know this little queue here you can choose like the one thirty two of a note so it's like small and that's even smaller also uh there's also triplets hold on triplets for me they are more occasional because you just gonna stick really with the normal like two by two but you can use triplets for do for doing like some stuff like I don't know really how to explain but but triplets I are useful right uh, and that's really it for the piano roll uh, if, if you not familiar with chords here there's like hundreds of chords that you can choose like there's the major chord right there's also minor there are lots of chords here but I, I don't find this really useful because I don't really need them but yeah um ah yeah another thing if you wanna lower the the volume of no no sorry um if you wanna change the bpm there there is the bpm you can go here and choose between 10 and uh, 999 bpm if you wish and if you wanna change the time signature you go here and you can choose between 32 by 32 that's oh, 32 by 32 or 1 by 1 and you can choose any of those in between right and now we're gonna check out the last thing you really want to know which are the automation tracks basically what this do is like uh, they can like change tempo volume or volume in the middle of the song so let's say I wanna have this little wind thingy instrument like go around my ears so basically here it is so what you're gonna do you're gonna select like the certain effect you wanna you wanna use like test volume the panning uh, pitch bent right these are the ones for like the a single instrument so let's I want to panning so we're gonna place down a note, note. right and then we click on this blue square right and then test this little like automation track editor so basically this this is the left ear I think and this is the right so I wanna make it go to both ears so I'm gonna do this oh if you wanna be precise there's like this if you click on this little auto thing you can choose between you can like make it so it's like a hundred percent accurate you know so yeah so here it is 
Now, if you're wearing headphones, you should probably notice this. Notice how it's going through both of your ears. Yeah, that, that's really what automation track is. You can also do that for volume, like for example, it gets lower, it can get lower. You see it's the volume, it's getting lower slowly. And you can also do pitch band as I said. Uh, there's the extension, it can go up 16 uh, semi uh, tones, which is basically the whole keyboard. So yeah, you can do basically whatever. But you see the thing is like this is kind of shitty because if you wanna like uh, use this, you, you can use like different types. You, you see it changes completely. So like you gotta do some things to make it work. But there's a trick if you wanna like make it so it's like totally flat here basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the smallest thing you you can choose and then you're gonna do this it's not supposed to be in the exact same but just one below and then you see it's basically it's really not small you won't really notice but then you can have like it go like this you know that's a trick I was I use a lot it's useful though it you gotta like keep um, keep managing or it can get really confusing of what you're doing so basically here's the uh, pitch bands wait that 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 that's really small let let me Yeah, so that's pitch band. Now for the last part is the general automation track thingy. So it's like the tempo. If, if I wanna change it to let's say 200, then you can select 200, press Ctrl. I, I forgot to say this. If you wanna like select one thing, you gotta uh, press Ctrl, like hold Ctrl, and then you slide it to the uh, desired like blue thing you know so in this case it's the pitch band and oh yeah and tip like wh when you start a new project it's like just one automation track and I'm not sure how to create another one so you gotta like always when you create another one just like copy it and use it for the desired one and I recommend it not to use like all effects in one automation track. I recommend using one for each instrument. So it's more easy to organize stuff, right? So again, back back to what I was, was saying. So, so let's say I wanna change the song that was uh, with 100 BPM to 200. So basically you do that. And now it's 200. And remember that you can change it like you don't need to be like a whole bar you can change it so it's like can change like any time basically so you can like do some wacky shit look oh yeah there's also the one thing that's useful is the metronome that you can activate it by clicking here But like for some reason the metronome is kind of like buggy when you try a very like high BPM. You, you see it skips, it's kind of... But, but it doesn't really matter, it's just gonna really use the BPM that are like 200 and below, right? Um, and yeah, that's the basics of LMMS. There's also like... I don't know if you guys saw this, but there's like these effects, there's like, I, but I don't know how to use it. I don't think you will really need them, but yeah, that's the basics of LMS.
I, I really hope this helped you and like I, this wasn't really shady because I this I don't have a script for this so it's I'm just like coming up with this like along the way you know and one last thing if if you want to change a songs like by one semitone without changing like all the squares and stuff you can just click here the final final um don't know how it's in portuguese i don't know how to say that word but you can you can transpose up at one octave up or down and that's really it how you use it hope it helps